Well, 41 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie shows us how tornado victims were able to pull it off with some helping hands. Mother Nature can have a sick sense of humor. 80 degrees in February and about uh, 30 in March with snow. Yeah, how is After it? a tornado destroyed our house. Mark and Jennifer Swartz's home was leveled during Monday night's tornado. Saturday, they picked up the last of their belongings. They had help from fellow churchgoers, about a dozen of them braving the cold. Everyone's just already here and it's just... But yes, I imagine that it would make it more difficult just for the cold factor, if nothing else. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be difficult. We'll get our last little bit of stuff cleaned up. Others left their belongings behind, like here in what used to be someone's bedroom. However, the people that live next door say they got everything cleaned up before the snow set in. People were so great about coming out and helping the last three days mm -hmm. that we got all of our stuff off the site. Brenda and Bruce Johnson came to look at what used to be their old home one last time and met with an insurance adjuster. They say it's because of volunteers that they can avoid working in the snow. They just came and helped and worked so, so hard. And that's, that's why we are, don't have to be out here in the snow today to do those things. This is just the start of a new beginning for many people impacted by the tornado. And even when Mother Nature sprinkles in some snow, some have learned to laugh it off. Got a really good start on spring cleaning. Yes. We got a spring demolition going on, yeah. In Oak Grove, Allie Hoxie, 41 Action News.